guys and welcome back to Demo Drives, bringing real reviews to real people and answering some of those questions other channels might not talk about. I'm here with another episode looking at subscribers' cars and I have this focus here. Now this is Ian's car. It's an ST, but it's got very, very little in common with an ST. We're gonna have a look around the car because, put it like this, this has more power than an Audi RS4 way more power than a standard RS, and it's more in line with an A45 S AMG. It's gonna be interesting. This thing could potentially be too powerful for when we're out on the road. It sounds loud, it's leery. So let's start by looking under the bonnet. There's way too much that Devil Development have done under here. So we're gonna to talk to the man himself, Ian, about this car. So Ian, what has gone on under the bonnet here? Right, it's got a um, forged engine, um, which was forged by Devil Developments. Um, it's got a standard RS turbo, um, an AS Performance inlet plenum, um, AS Performance air intake, yeah. um, Wisco pistons and K1 rods. The RS software, bigger fuel pump, um, and it's running Revo Stage 4 Plus. So not that much then? No. <laughs> so this is standard. What, what's the standard uh, ST? About 220 brake? 225. And what's this now? 420. That's pretty bonk, isn't it? Yeah. Consider, and that's way more than the RS as well, which is sort of about 100. Yeah, more. the RS, standard RS 305. Yeah. The, 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 this is going to be interesting. Um, I know you've done some things to the suspension and hopefully yep. you've got a Quafe LSD on this. Yes, yep. To try and rein in some of that power. Yep. Because I think if it didn't have that, it may be a bit torque yeah, steering. Yeah, it would be. It is a little bit still, but it's much better. Really nice under there, these bits that have been dipped just to give it yeah, a slightly- Yeah, dipped, yeah. yeah that, it, it's just cool. Strut brace. Strut brace, bigger intercooler. Um, yeah. Is there anything from the ST in here? Uh, the alternator. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but even battery. Yeah, even this you were saying with the ECU, it can't go there because you've got this yeah. air intake, so that's been moved. So it's been relocated from this area here um, to make room for this. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah. yeah a lot of it I've done, some of it I've done myself. Just yeah. the, the bits I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's pretty smart. So we'll have a look around the side. Um, just have a quick chat about the suspension. So if we wander around, Around the side, pretty standard, but we'll look at wheels, tyres, suspension setup. So what's happened here? Um, yeah, I fitted um, B17 um, Bilstein coilovers, um, adjustable ride height and sensitivity. Um, the front brakes have been updated to high spec. Um, I think they're three pot calipers. Yep. Um, tyres, it had Toyo proxies on when I bought it. Um, I've stayed with Toyos because I think they're middle of the road and they're, they're good tyres. Um, back brakes are standard, um, but I've painted all the um, all the chrome parts black. Yeah. I've noticed here, sort of that definitely is sitting. That's quite flush with the wheel arch. Yes, there. yeah. But this isn't even as low as it goes, is it? This no, is... we'll go low. We'll go lower. The back's about as low as it'll go, but the front would go lower. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure you want much more on these nah. sort of our UK roads are a no, bit shocking, aren't they? No, nah, low enough. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look around the back. You've got something interesting in the boot, I do believe. Yeah. So let's have a look in the boot now, because I believe you've done a few things in here. I have. Look at that. So what have you got here? You've got uh, a 2,500 amp Phoenix Gold amplifier <laughs> um, and three 8-inch Phoenix Gold subs. Um, we built this um, during the first lockdown. I'd already did, always intended to do it, yeah. um, but once the first lockdown came, uh, me and a mate of mine decided to spend some time and, and, and put this together um, with a new, and a new head unit. Um, all LEDs under here. Obviously, it's daylight, so you can't it's see them, but they're multi, multi, no, multi-coloured. Um, the forward badge lights up. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it's really. It's quite cool. It's, uh, it's quite loud. <laughs> I've heard it is that, that amount of output, but I know you said that you can't really run it that long without the car running because your battery. No, I've only got this one battery and it does go flat very quickly. Yeah. Um, maybe put bigger batteries in it, but it adds more weight to the car. Yeah. So. Well, I like the all-rounder. I think it's awesome, but it's about driving, isn't it, this car? So we're going to hop in 
And we'll take it out on the road and see yep. if this thing tries to kill me. I'm hoping it doesn't. <laughs> right, we're underway now and this exhaust is definitely making itself feel present. You can, you can hear it. Local villages can hear it. Towns miles away can hear it. So what's the actual exhaust we've got fitted to this? Uh, it's a Cobra Venom. Yeah, that, that's... I'm not managing to stretch its legs just yet. We should be able to. And we're just pottering at 3,000 RPM. So we're going to get onto this main bit of road and see how loud it is because the turbo hasn't even really spooled in, hasn't done anything, so... possible way it's shouty banging pops but I love it I don't think a lot of people <laughs> the, the normal person I think would be like oh my god that thing's loud Something's happening, but nowhere near as much. But you hit four, the turbo I think must be fully spooled at that yeah. point. And it. oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, wow! Animal, <laughs> and it's only front wheel drive. And it, yeah. But that, I think that quaff diff. I'd be scared. I think if this didn't have that, it does make a big difference to me. And considering this is the same power, I think I mentioned at the beginning, is a Mercedes A45S, which is all-wheel drive, and Audi RS4 has got the same power, all-wheel drive. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it can be a bit of an animal. Yeah. It certainly wakes you up. Oh, yeah. Just don't drive it in the wet. <laughs> yeah, we were actually going to film... Uh, I think it was last weekend, but the yeah. weather was looking a bit ropey, and um, and you said it was a bit sketchy in wet weather conditions. It is, yeah. And yeah. you owning the car, saying it was a bit sketchy, <laughs> really made me quite nervous. So we thought it was better to. And we still got the uh, traction control on. We still got it on. Um, oh my it's still on, yeah. Yeah, I think we're. Jesus. Um, Sorry for anyone who was offended by that. Oh, I want to say other words, but <laughs> I think the engine may drone out any rude words I may have to yeah, say. Yeah. But these sort of roads, it'll be interesting to see how how it gets on with these very expensive coilovers on here, isn't it? Really, the Bilstein. Yeah, they're set halfway, so yeah, it's this sort of. I'm not obviously pushing it too much because no. but quite around here. God. I can picture this is what a rally car must be like. Possibly. <laughs> oh. Jeepers. So do you run this as a daily at all? No. I do take it to work now and again just to keep the battery charged, just to go out and it. I've got my uh, buy the car for me daily <laughs> so the question really is why did you choose to get them modern st to be more powerful than an rs as opposed to getting an rs i've always had sts um this would be my third one um, yeah the first one i bought was completely standard when i bought it um, and done a fair amount of work to it got it up to about 300 brake <laughs> and then 
I bought a blue one that had been wrapped in Aston Martin Flight Plans Blue. Absolutely loved it, good show car. But got to a point where the engine couldn't really get any more out of it. That was running about 3.30. And then I saw this one that had already had some work done to it and um, decided I could build on it. And, yeah, and we are where we are now. Yeah. like the driving position you can definitely tell it's a slightly older car you know bang 2009 did you say it was yeah 2009, 2009. Yeah, yeah the 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 instruments here um i think that made me laugh it's still in fahrenheit <laughs> i looked at it it's 64 fahrenheit it's like 64 blimey that's hot and it's like no it's not actually uh <laughs> that it's um yeah it's it's aged sort of <laughs> But I'm not necessarily looking down here that much. No. I'm more that way and look, this road is terrible, isn't it? What have yeah, I, I think I've been round here for a long time. No, I don't think we'll be going round here. For much you, can go right, you can go right round. Oh, okay. The gauges are not standard. They were, um, I put well, them these ones here. about a year ago, yeah. yeah. Because the um, most of the gauges on these were, were like a, run off the ECU. Yeah. So it was all like not guessed but calculated during that these ones is proper oil with temperature. Oh okay, so they actually oil are oil temperature, yeah. Um, so they've got um, probes on them that actually so it's actually put much more accurate than the ones before. It's funny with the steering wheel that there's no Buttons or no. pressy bits. Not like cars now. Oh god, no! You get a million and one different, but you have to read the manual to know what everything Cruise does. And, and all that. So it's uh, it's quite basic, really, as as a car build. I mean, I say it's quite quite old now, 2009. So. But do you need all those gadgets and buttons and? Yeah. I mean, my my channel's about cars that normal people can afford to buy. Yeah. And I think this is something that, you know, normal, normal people could actually afford. You know, we're looking at 12 ish for the car. Yeah, the, the, uh, all of the modifications cost the same as the car again yeah, yeah. if you had to pay for it new. But I suspect you could probably get something like this 15, 16 yeah, maybe. They, yeah, they, they don't keep their price like the RSs. Um, you know, I've seen them. The standard one that's little as like four thousand pounds, you know. Now um, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. And you could have something with this performance, which would is they're easy, they're far easy quicker than a yeah, far quicker than a stock RS. Yeah, definitely. For nowhere near the money. Nothing, nothing. Four. Oh my god. Glad these brakes are good. Good brakes. Very good brakes. It's a bit like an old school turbo with turbo lag, isn't it? Yeah, except yeah. for it's. It's not quite, I don't know if it's even turbo, like it's just power, power, loads of power. Yeah, let's just switch it on yeah. straight away. percent increase in power yeah, yeah. which is just insane
Did you ever have it without the quaff diff? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not tried that. Yeah. So, uh, not sure I'd want to. Uh, no. This has certainly been a, an epic machine, this. It's an absolute weapon. And for like 15 grand, you can get in something like this, which is incredible. It's loud, it's angry, it's... That's it, it's antisocial. <laughs> it pops, it bangs, it squeals. But oh my word, does it put a big smile on your face. It's epic. But thank you very much for letting me drive your Thank baby you. it's been brilliant and hopefully you guys have experienced the mentalness of over 400 brake horsepower in a front wheel drive car brilliant if you have enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up comments are always welcome and remember to click on the subscribe button oh once more thanks for watching